The President's Advisory 1776 Commission. Final Report. 15. Reverence for the Laws. The principles of equality and consent mean that all are equal before the law. No one is above the law, and no one is privileged to ignore the law, just as no one is outside the law in terms of its protection. In his Lyceum Address, a young Abraham Lincoln warned of two results of a growing disregard for the rule of law. The first is mob rule, whenever the vicious portion of our population shall be permitted to gather in bands of hundreds and thousands, and burn churches, ravage and rob provision stores, throw printing presses into rivers, shoot editors, and hang and burn obnoxious persons at pleasure and with impunity, depend upon it, this government cannot last. But Lincoln also warned of those of great ambition who thirst for distinction, and, although he would as willingly, perhaps more so, acquire it by doing good as harm, yet, that opportunity being passed, and nothing left to be done in the way of building up, he would set boldly to the task of pulling down. Whether of the left, or of the right, both mob rule and tyrannical rule violate the rule of law, because both are ruled by the base passions, rather than the better angles of our nature. Both equally threaten our constitutional order. When crimes go unpunished or when good men do nothing, the lawless in spirit will become lawless in practice, leading to violence and demagoguery. Patriotic education must have at its center a respect for the rule of law, including the Declaration and the Constitution, so that we have what John Adams called a government of laws, and not of men. In the end, Lincoln's solution must be ours, let every American, every lover of liberty, every well-wisher to his posterity, swear by the blood of the revolution, never to violate in the least particular, the laws of the country, and never to tolerate their violation by others. As the patriots of 76 did to the support of the Declaration of Independence, so to the support of the Constitution and laws, let every American pledge his life, his property, and his sacred honor, let every man remember that to violate the law, is to trample on the blood of his father, and to tear the character of his own, and his children's liberty. Let reverence for the laws be breathed by every American mother, to the lisping babe that paddles on her lap. Let it be taught in schools, in seminaries, and in colleges. Let it be written in primers, spelling books, and in almanacs. Let it be preached from the pulpit, proclaimed in legislative halls, and enforced in courts of justice. Coming up. 16. Conclusion.